the farm grew out of the San Francisco movement at a time when Kent State happened and things were up for grabs in the countries because you had the war protests. There were a group of us that were, I'd say, a gathering. We were not a cult because we were more of a culture. We said we were not a commune because the real word is community. A bunch of preachers invited this a teacher, I would say, uh, Stephen Gaskin around the country to speak at evangelical churches and universities to spread nonviolence, really a message of, look, you don't have to be violent. You can be good people. If this is a movement, we're going to have to keep it together. And he invited a bunch of us to come with him. Uh, there may have been 40, 50 buses at one point, something we called the caravan. And at some point it was decided, let's go to Tennessee. We were probably 350 of us that wound up in Tennessee. I wasn't a great hippie. I didn't run around and do all the crazy things all the time. I was really learning to be a photographer. One day Gaskin came to me and said, look, I know your background. I know you're a photographer. I need you to work with the media and threw me into it. We started the community right around 71 in very rural Tennessee in a county called Lewis County, which at the time was probably one of the poorest counties in Tennessee and 60 miles from Nashville. We were husbands and wives, children. We were not just individuals. This was more like a family. Uh, sometimes it was a little rougher until we knew how to grow enough food. And as one of the favorite sayings were, you can't grow everything because you can't grow toilet paper. There was things we had to buy in bulk. I mean, it was a learning process for, you're a community. Now what are you going to do? It was sweet. The young days were sweet. Whether it was hard living, of course, we were taking an old cattle ranch and making it into a town. It's a piece of Americana history. The farm is really a piece of history. And there was always something good happening. Uh, and I think the essence of my pictures were to show these were straight, ordinary people with everyday life. There was nothing special about, oh, we're these special hippies or are we these weird people. It was not so much new age as everyday work. Uh, and the way I was trained as a storyteller was to show the beauty of the people. And we then videotaped and photographed all of the farm's growth through the 12 years we were there. Uh, I got very involved with the midwives and would, with permission from the family or the mother, I would go to the births. Ina Mae Gaskin was Stephen's wife. Any midwife who's out there knows Ina Mae was the foremother of midwifery and women are still going to the farm now to give birth and the midwives who are there now on the farm are the very ones that she trained. I got close enough that I had to wash my hands once. I was ready, but thank goodness the second midwife came and I went back to what I was good at. But I've been to 40, 45 births. I think what I captured was the essence of who we were. My daughter. 20 years ago, I migrated to Delray Beach, Florida. We have a wonderful lifestyle here. I still work. Folks say, why aren't you retired? I'm one of those that, at my age now, I'm not giving up. I've had this wonderful experience that sometimes it's hard to explain what I did in a previous life, what I'm doing now, but it all seems to be in balance. Much like other photographers, you know, they do something and they're very involved, but you don't realize until years later, you have captured, you have copyrighted, you have owned, and you're responsible for a piece of American history.